And the other thing that amazed, I think the thing that amazed me the most about their convention is they discovered the middle class. I mean, it was amazing. It was sitting there all that time. All that time, the middle class was just sitting out there. And they found it. They found it. It was amazing how much they talked about the middle class. And they said, you know, and the president was handed a kind of a tough deal. They acknowledged that. They talk about the Great Recession like it fell out of the sky in 2008. Oh, my God, how did this happen? Whoa. As my little, my little seven-year-old granddaughter would say, did Casper the ghost do it? I mean, who dropped it all here? It was their policies. It was what they voted for. It was what they supported. And now they're telling us they value the middle class. They value the middle class. Where I come from, being middle class means able to be able to have the hope of owning your home and not just running it. What's Romney say about those people struggling to stay in their home? Let foreclosures hit the bottom. Oh, they value the middle class. My dad used to have an expression. His name was Joe, and a guy would come up to him or a friend would say, Joe, let me tell you what I value. My dad would look back at him and say, look, don't tell me what you value. Show me your budget, and I will tell you what you value. Show me your So let's take a look at their budget. You want to know what they value? Let's take a look at their budget. They say they value children and the elderly, but their budget slashes 19 million people off of Medicaid. That includes millions of children, including children from middle-class families who have kids with disabilities like Down syndrome and autism. They get knocked off. It also includes a million seniors, million seniors, many of the middle-class people who rely on their Medicaid to be able to stay in a nursing home. What are they going to do with those people? What's going to happen? Where do they go? Ladies and gentlemen, they say they value education, but they make massive cuts in education, in early education, elementary and secondary education. They make massive cuts in college assistance, eliminating the $2,500 tax credit, cutting a thousand bucks off of all the kids who are in Pell Grants. Now, God knows how many will have to drop out. And ladies and gentlemen, on top of that, now they want to come back with an old ID again. They want to reinstate a $60 billion subsidy to the banks to process student loans. By the way, eliminating that subsidy and going directly, that's how we're able to put another 3 million working class kids in school.